Hello, everybody. Come on in and say hello. I'm just looking for the live so I can share it and see everybody's comments. There it is. <clears throat> All right. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Josh. <clears throat> Hi, Sonia. All right, I got the comments up. Okay, we're going to work on a bumblebee wreath tonight. And I'm using a work form tonight instead of doing my own, just to make it a little bit easier. Plus, I already had this one. need to get it out of the way. So I'm going to be using the work form. I am using as my base mesh um, this basket weave. It's a yellow basket weave really pretty if you can see that and I'll recap as more people come in and I'm going to use some yellow and white checked mesh for my ruffles and I've cut these in 20 inch pieces and there's nine of them so I'm going to put them in every other tie I also have my black and yellow bundles that I'm going to use in the other ties that I don't put the ruffles in. <clears throat> and then I've got my ribbons. I have a black pla black and yellow plaid as well as a yellow check which matches that check um, with black dots. So I'll be using that. And then I've got this black and yellow striped and the bumblebees which is really pretty. If you can see that or not, it's got honeycombs on it. So that'll look really pretty. So those are the ribbons I'm using. I'm going to put um, one grouping in, each, in every other tie. If anybody has any questions along the way, feel free to ask. And if you wouldn't mind sharing this so that other people can see it, I would appreciate that as well. And I've also got some flex tubing I'm going to add, probably. I don't know. This yellow is a little different from the rest of the yellow, so I have to see how it looks tonight. Um, so once I get to that part, I'll see if I like that. I have a, The other yellow I have is more of a gold, so I don't think that would work either. So I'll have to check and see. But I have both of them cut just in case. So, And then I'm going to put this down here out of the way. Then I've got some bumblebees that I may use. I've got a bigger one. And then I have a small one. I don't know if you can see those real well on the camera. So those are what we're going to be using. And then here's my sign. Try and get that glare off of it for you. So that's the sign I'm going to be using. The size, the work form is a uh, 15 inch work form. And this says, have a sweet day. So that's my sign. So I'm going to put all this over here to the side. And we'll go ahead and get started. And as other people join in, I'll give a recap. So there's um, eight ties on the top and 10 on the bottom. And when I'm doing, I'm going to do poofs on the top. So when I do poofs, I start on the top. And I'm just going to gather this up here. Get a little handful of it. And I'm going to pick my tie. I'm going to go right here. I've got one on top of the other. Hi, David. So I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to twist this once to hold it in place, and then I'm going to zip tie this down so that it doesn't go anywhere. I 
How's everybody doing tonight? <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so that takes care of that. I'm going to cut this off. It's got a little bit of loose end on it. So I want to get rid of that. my mat today and I forgot to put it back so I can sweep everything off into the trash can. Alright, so I'm going to do 10 inch poofs all the way around, top and bottom. So I'm just going to put it on my mark here and measure it out to 10 approximately. It's not exact, but close enough. Hi, Sin. I'll do a recap in a little bit for everybody who just joined. I don't really need these glasses because I can see that. Juliana went to a school dance. Oh. They're getting so big. And I just poofed these out. This is a real pretty mesh. I like this called the basket weave. And I'm just going to put these in every tie. I saw she got her braces the other day. How's she doing? I'm sure she's hating them, right? I remember my nephew and, and niece, um, well, Tyler and Travis and Shelby had to have them. I don't remember if Tyler had them. I don't think he did. I say that like you don't know who they are. <laughs> I know. High school. Nathan's going next year too. My God. I'm not prepared for that. I know his mother's not. I'm not. But I'm sure he is, aren't you, Nate? Time has flown by. To me, he should still be a baby. Well, they're always my babies, but they just don't like me calling them babies. <laughs> Yeah, you and me both, Cindy. This is not possible. What was the question? What question? I don't know what question you're talking about, Josh. Tell me again. Hi, Robin. How are you? <clears throat> I'll give you all a recap here in just a little bit. No, I didn't ask a question. No, we were talking about Nathan and uh, Juliana going to high school next year. Thinking of ways to prevent it. There's a wire sticking out of the frame here. I gotta push it in so nobody gets poked by it. I'm sure you are. You've been working a lot. If y'all wouldn't mind sharing this, I would appreciate it. I don't remember if I even shared it. I thought I did, but never know. Yes, Josh, they're going to be in high school. 
I believe Daniel is too, if I'm not mistaken, isn't he, David? I don't remember. Um, I know they're all the same age, but I don't know if they all started school at the same time. I'm sure they did. Thank you, Robin. I appreciate that. All right, so I've got one more tie on the top. Yes, they are starting high school in the fall. Lord help me. All right, so I'm gonna undo that first tie and I'm gonna put another poof in there. Wreath the Core by Dawn is converting old cassette tapes tonight. Hmm, how am I doing that? Hi, Rebecca. Yeah, that weather, isn't it something? It's crazy. I've been keeping track on the New York weather, you know, because we lived up there. And um, it's just crazy. Hi, Krista. Thank you all for spending your Friday night with me. I usually go live on Wednesday, but this week I couldn't, so I'm doing it tonight to make up for it. All right, so I'm just going to bring this straight down right next to my other tie. And I'm going to zip tie it there hold it in place and for that I do need my glasses did y'all see the picture of my business cards I got this week that I posted all right this doesn't want to cooperate here there it goes. Come on. Thank you. Yes, I know that. Well, I'll show you the sign and everything here in just a second. I'll give you all a recap of what I'm doing. Oh, thank you. All right. So we're using this basket weave mesh, which is our base, and I'm doing 10 inch poofs all the way around top and bottom. Let me set that down for, get that down out of the way for a second so y'all can see. And then, here's my sign. And it says, um, have a sweet day. I'm making sure that glare is not there. Yeah, there it goes. So that's the sign I'm gonna use. And then I've got this um, yellow and white checked you can't really see the check real well on the camera, I don't think, but um, I'm going to use this for ruffles and every other tie. Those are cut at 20 inches each. And then I have some black and yellow um, bundles that I'm going to pop in there, and those will go in the other ties that I don't put the ruffles in. And then I've got some tubing that I'm going to use, black and yellow, but I'm not sure about the yellow, because, but we'll see. And then these are my ribbons. I have a black and yellow plaid. And this one has a check pattern with black dots on it. And then, of course, the bee stripe. And then the bumblebees with the honeycomb. So those will all go on there. And then I have some little bumblebees over here that I'm going to use. I have a big one, and then I have a smaller one, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use one of each, both, or um, I've got a couple more, so if I need to put more on there, I can. And then I also have um, a honeycomb that I was thinking of using, 
but I'm not quite sure yet. I'll have to wait until I get to the end and see how that's going to work. That may be something I add later or after the live. I don't know. Um, but it's got the little hole, the bee hole there. and It's so cute. It's all glittery. Isn't that cute, Krista? Hi, Sherry. Hi, Mom. All right, so let me go ahead and finish this up. So I'm going to do the 10 inches on the bottom here. Let me open up my ties so I can get those all in. <coughs> is everybody's weather as crazy as ours has been this week? We've been in the 70s. We were in the, what, 40s, 50s, 40s, 30s last week. In the 70s this week. And tonight we're going back down to, I don't know, 40s, 50s. I don't. I thought I read somewhere that tonight was supposed to be um, like 33, but I don't know. This weather cannot make up its mind. Um, this week I did custom orders, Robin. I, um, I've been working on custom orders this week. And um, for two days, I was out of commission, so I um, didn't work on anything those two days. But yeah, I have um, I have a couple of, yeah, oh, below 30. Jeez, 81, oh, that, that's nice. You're always like that, though, <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> Almost always. Um, yeah, I worked on a, um, a sea turtle wreath this week, and I have another one I'm working on, but it's driving me crazy. Um, I, I, made a, I have a, like a block when it comes to this sign that I'm trying to use in a wreath for a customer. I don't know, does anybody ever have those moments where they just can't make something work? I've done the base for this wreath three times now, and I don't like any of them that I've done. Um, and it's a spring wreath. It should be easy enough to do, but it's just driving me crazy. I don't know if it's the colors in it that I'm trying to... None of, none of the stuff I have matches with the colors in the sign. So it's just driving me crazy. I started out using a um, burlap base. And that, I didn't like that. The colors I added to it. So it's just... It's been one of those kind of weeks where nothing is really going the way I want it to. <laughs> With the wreath making. So I've been trying to do other things like this. It's like this morning when I knew I was going to go live. Hi, Dawn Marie. Yeah, I know. I've been watching that Watertown weather. I keep tabs on y'all. All I can say is I'm glad I'm not there. I don't miss it. I, um, but yeah, I've just had a block on this wreath, and I, or on this one sign wreath, that, and I don't know why. It just, nothing's working for me, so I've walked away and come back to it, and it still doesn't work for me so I don't know what I'm gonna do I know she's waiting on it so I need to get it done I had um, four other orders I had to do before that so this was this one's kind of like the last um, special order that I had so I'm trying to get it done and it's for spring so I'd like to get it done before spring gets here I'm sure she'd like to have it before then too But y'all, you know what? I went to South Carolina this past weekend. My daughter and granddaughter share the same birthday. And um, we went to Hobby Lobby and I found some of the cutest bunnies. I'll have to show them to you later. If you all remind me, I'll show them to you. They have little tutus on. 
they're so cute. Our, our, um, where did I, I got them at Big Lots. Did I say that? I don't know why I'm, uh, in my head I'm thinking I said, um, Hobby Lobby, but. Anyway, um, I got them at Big Lots. Our Big Lots didn't have them. I went to go and get more, um, leprechauns while I was there. And, um, found the bunnies, too. Our store didn't have any of that stuff out yet. They had the leprechauns, but when I bought the one that I made last week, um, they only had two of them at the time. Yeah, I said big lots, okay. But anyway, they're so stinking cute. My husband was there with me, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to just get one or get two, because they had another bunny. And I knew I was going to get one of each, but I ended up going back before we left the store and got a second one. So I have two of the two, two bunnies. So those are going to be cute. I have a sign that'll go with them already. So that worked out. Oh boy. It is hot up here tonight. Yeah, gnomes. Yeah, those are so popular right now. I saw somebody was, uh, somebody makes them um, on Facebook. I saw somebody post them. I can't remember who it was. Oh, the wreath shop has them? Yeah, I made a gnome wreath um, for Christmas. I think it's, I think I still have it. I saw some Valentine gnomes. Um, I think those were online too. Yeah, gnomes, bunnies, and leprechauns. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Thank you for joining me. If anybody has any questions, let me know. I can do another recap in a little bit here if you want. So when I was deciding what I was going to do today, that I was working on that other one, the one that's driving me crazy, and um, yeah, I know it's cold there. You guys are you guys are supposed to be getting some more this week. I saw just before I came up here. I saw that um, there's another blast that's coming through the Midwest to the uh, east. This yellow is gorgeous. I'm telling you. It's a basket weave. It is so pretty. All right. Yep, this is my last one. I guess I didn't fluff that out. All right. This um, work form is, I got at a different place than I normally get. And they take like a garland, wired garland, and wrap it around it for the ties. I don't think I like that very much. Because some of the spacing isn't quite right compared to what you get when you buy them from other places. But you know what? I'm using it. I paid for it. I might as well use it, right? All right. So I got all these poofed out. Sure, Rebecca, let me know. Yeah, send me a message. All right, so I'm done with this. I'm going to cut this off. And then I'm going to zip tie it down. Anybody have any plans for the weekend besides staying warm? I have to clean my craft room. I 
have stuff all over the place. Okay. That zip tied down. So there's our base. Isn't that pretty? Look at that yellow. That is so pretty. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So now that we got the base, we're going to add in the ruffles. Scoot this out of the way a little bit here. I hope I didn't move the camera. All right, so let me find where I want to start. I guess I'll start right here. <clears throat> Massage and training. I like that massage part. <laughs> Don't you, David? I love it. Shoveling? No, not doing that, thankfully. No, 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 no. We don't have to do that anymore. Even if it snowed here, I wouldn't do it. We'd just let it melt. <laughs> Nope, never late. Never late. How are you, Beverly? Nope, not late. We just finished the base. Doing some ruffles now. I'll do a recap in just a sec. So I'm just ruffling these up. Pinching in the middle here. And I'm going to put it in the twist tie. Give it a twist, and then I'm going to fan it out. There. And I'm going to do that in every other tie. Exactly. It'll melt by itself. That's the way I see it. It's going to go eventually, right? Yeah, we lived in New York for a while, and um, I swear, as soon as my husband or my son would go out and plow the driveway, we had a snowblower. They'd go out and do it, and as soon as they would do it, one of two things would happen. It would either start snowing again, or the big snow plows would come around and do the roads and push all that snow right back into our driveway. They used to get so mad about that. But I, in the same way, I feel that eventually it's going to melt, so why, why shovel it? But that's me. I just wouldn't go anywhere until it melted. That's too much work. That's hard work. So this yellow kind of blends in with that. I wish it had been a little bit darker, but I had tried to, I was hoping to get the um, black and yellow check that they had, that basket weave, but um, it was sold out when I tried buying it, so I ended up with this one. My nose is itching now. I, got, I have the fan on in here, so fibers are flying around. Been really warm here today, but I did not turn on my AC. Wanted to, but I didn't. And I know for those of you who are freezing right now, you don't want to hear that, but <laughs> yeah, the, the one that Lori used the other night that's the one I tried to get and it was sold out. Oh, that's okay, Robin. I appreciate that. <laughs> It's been a little while since I ordered it anyway. I saw her do hers the other night. I always see everyone else doing theirs, and then when I go to do mine, I feel like I'm copying them. I was going to do a... Um, I have some dog signs. I want to do a dog wreath. 
And I saw one of the girls that did one this week and I thought, no, I'll wait. <laughs> she just did one. bottom and these just fill it in of course that basket weave you don't see the frame through that which is surprising you'd think you would with it being a weave like that but now it fills it in pretty good if you haven't done so I would really appreciate it if you would share for me Yeah, they are really cute. Yeah, I don't have anything on my door right now either. Although I was thinking of taking um, one of my Valentine wreaths out and putting it out there, but I haven't done it. A lot of people live tonight. Yeah, that's cute, Jonathan. I like that. I've seen um, one that says dogs welcome owners uh, tolerated or something like that I don't know if my uh, thing got shared to the lives or to the group tonight. I know I posted on there I was going to go live. <clears throat> I saw a couple other people were going to go live tonight too. Hi, Susie. How are you? Thank you, Dawn Marie. I appreciate that. How's Ryan doing? You got the notice I was going live, Dave? That, good. That reminds me, if anybody wants to get notified when I do go live, if you type in live or alerts, um, down in the comment section, you should get a message from the messenger bot. And if you respond back to that, um, it should put you on the list to be notified whenever I go live. And all it does is send you a message in your, in your private messages and say, hey, Dawn's going live. And you can um, unsubscribe to it at any time as well. It's not something you're locked into. But yeah, if you want to get those, um, just type that in. And hopefully it's working tonight. I set it up earlier today, so I'm really hoping. 
I say that every time, and it, it seems to work for some, but not for others, but he's doing good. I'm glad to hear that. I don't see much of him online. I think the last time I talked to him, he said he had been laid off. Hi, Kay. Welcome. Thank you for watching. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Thank you guys so much for joining me. All right, so there's our ruffles. I hope you all can see that with the lighting. So what I did was I have a 15-inch um, work frame that I'm using. I did um, a basket weave, base yellow, 10-inch uh, poofs. And then I just finished with a yellow and white check, 10-inch. Um, and I did uh, cut those 20 inches and made ruffles out of those. So if you're following along, that's where I'm at now. Till the end of March, yeah. Is it because of, of winter or? Oh, thank you. It is a sunshine yellow. It's, it's so bright and pretty. Okay, so now we've got the bundles. I'm gonna put those in and I'm gonna put those in every other tie, so. The black's going to stand out, but this is the sign we're using. So I'll show you that again. Sorry for the glare. And it says, uh, have a sweet day. And then I've got some bumblebees here I'm going to put in there. Hi Donna, how are you? And then we've got our ribbons that we're going to use. And I've got a plaid. That's going to go with the polka dot check pattern. And then I have some yellow and black stripe with the honeybees. So those will go together. Isn't that cute? Yeah. You didn't get anything from the bot? That figures. <laughs> Just when I think I have it working, it doesn't work. I don't know what else to do with that thing. All right, so I'm gonna dump these out over here. <clears throat> I'll have to check up on it again. The tails, I cut them at 10 inches. They're cut with 10 inch mesh and I cut them at 10 inches. And I just, I tie them together and then I just put them in here. And this yellow is a little paler, so I've got different shades of yellow going on here. So I'm going to twist that, and then I'm just going to spread these out. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that bot. Some people get it, and some don't. Yeah, the ribbons are really nice. Yeah, not much to do in the winter time for them, is there? That's a shame. You'd think they could send them where it's warm. Let them work there. <clears throat> Aren't they? They match really well. The signs and ribbons. This was the only one that I didn't have a struggle with trying to match everything up tonight. <laughs> everything else is giving me a problem. This one was easy, yellow and black. Can't go wrong there. I'll show you the sign I'm having a problem with. Y'all will probably look at it and go, I don't know what your problem is, but. <laughs> But it's just one of those things that has me blocked on what else to do with it. Like I said, I started with a couple different bases already and I didn't like them. I did a uh, poly jute, um, the, like the, the natural burlap looking base. All right, so that's the bottom. Two, three, four, yeah. No, this one's not a custom order. This one I'm just making. 
but it will be available if you're interested. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Yeah, B, these B ones are really cute. They're nice. Well, welcome, Teresa. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. How did I do that? One, two. You know what I did? Not paying attention. Put this ruffle in the wrong spot. All right, let's fix that. See what happens when you talk and craft at the same time? We'll just move it over. No big deal. It happens. Yeah, room having room is is always a problem, isn't it? Yeah, you can have as much room as you think you need, and then you'll still run out of room. Because <laughs> the more room we have, the more stuff we put in. I started at my dining room table, and then when my son moved out, I took over the room he had. And I've only been up here a couple of months, and I'm already out of room. And I'm just spreading these out. I don't want the black and yellow alternating. So anything exciting going on? Oh yeah, I, I, I wouldn't want to do the basement. Especially if it's all creepy. No, I don't do basements. <laughs> we had a basement in our house in New York, and I think I only went in it. We lived there for eight years, and I can only count maybe three times I went in that basement in eight years. No, no, no. I don't do basements. Yeah, exactly. No. Nope. We had a really old house up there, so yeah, the basement was, you couldn't walk straight up anyway, standing straight up. It's one of those kind of basements, but yeah. Nope. All right, so there we go. We've got all the curls in there now, so now we got our pop of black. So that's going to match with the sign really well. Let's see? Let's put the sign on there so you can see. That's not where it's going to go, but... Move it over a little bit so you can see it. Exactly. Me too. Isn't that funny? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with the ribbons. And I forgot where my starting point was. Um, there it is. I always have a starting point on a wreath that I like to stick with. I don't know why. It's just one of those things I do. I don't know if anybody else does it, but... It's always my starting point for each layer. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put these ribbons in. And I'll show them to you again in case anybody missed them. We've got the yellow checked with the black dots. 
and the black and yellow plaid. Those two will go together and then I'm going to put in the bumblebees which has some honeycomb on it with the black and yellow stripe. <clears throat> Alright, so I think I'm going to put, let's see, I think because the black and the yellow bundles are here, I'm going to put this, well there's black in this one too, so it really doesn't matter, I guess that shot that out of the water, but anyway, I think I'm going to put this one in the ruffles. Um, my ribbons are cut at 14 inch, I, I like 14 inch ribbons. Well, thank you, Christina and Dakota. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to put this in with the ruffles. And I just bunch them in the center. Tie them in here. Give them a good twist. And those ribbons aren't going to go anywhere. And then I'm going to spread them out. And I'm using a two and a half and a one and a half in each um, tie. So there's a total of two two and a half ribbons and two one and a half ribbons on the whole wreath. I think it just makes it look a little nicer. <clears throat> and the ribbons are all wired so you want to pull them out and manipul manipulate them the way you want them. And I'm going to put the B in with the curls. So I'm just looking to make sure I didn't miss any comments. Thank you all for spending your Friday night with me. Got to work those ribbons. Susan, how are you? Thank you for joining us. All right. Must have been a piece of mesh. It looked like a wire. I was going to say the wires better not be coming out. I am doing very well. Thank you. It's been a long week. But I am glad it is over. Hi, Mom. How are you? Thank you. That's my mother-in-law from California there. Enjoying that California weather. Bob was in here. I don't know if he's still here or not. Are you still here, dear? Is 
not paying any attention to me, I'm sure. Of course, he could be watching Charlie Brown. I saw that was on tonight. <laughs> Oh, hi, there you are. Your mom was in here. I thought you were going to say hi. <laughs> oh. Sorry, my nose is itching, guys. Is it Helena? Hello, Helena. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. I need I guess I need to put them on so I can see. What kind of ribbon is best to use on reeds? Um, wired ribbon. And I like um, the thicker, like canvas type ribbon. Um, I use satin ribbon sometimes, but I, I don't care for it that much. Hey Renee. Um, but yeah, is you want to make sure that if you're using it with a wreath that you're using wired ribbon because you want to be able to, um, you want it to hold up and, um, you want to be able to shape it and move it where you want it and have it stay. But thicker ribbon, um, is usually best. In my opinion, everybody has a, a preference. Hi, Renee. Got two Renees. I saw that. My sister's the other Renee. <laughs> Have fun. You guys gonna go play in the snow? Only in California do they go play in the snow. <laughs> Everybody else has just got to look out their yard to see it. He's, he's my technical guy. If I have technical problems, he takes care of that for me. He don't want to come up here and make reeds. He bought me a gift today. He's so romantic for Valentine's Day. Which we don't normally buy each other gifts for stuff like that. We don't even do it for our anniversaries anymore. But he decided he was going to buy me a gift, and now I don't have one for him. Hi, Shelby. You can't hear me. I need to turn it up. ties a little further away. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, the gift. <laughs> he bought me um, a uh, um, shipping label printer. Yep. He spies on my Amazon account, apparently. I just found this out. And when I put things in my wish list, he sees them. I didn't know that. 
So I had found one that I liked because we're using a lot of ink on my printer. And you know, ink isn't cheap anymore. Not like it, you know, it used to be. But um, it's a thermal printer, so I don't have to buy ink anymore. And I can just print out the shipping labels now and not have to use my regular printer for it. So I have to get that set up and try that out. You making Valentine's treats? I know, it's hard. Can you believe it? Oh, for her class, how cute. And Girl Scouts, yes. Your niece is so cute. I see her on your lives. Um, yeah, we don't we don't normally do anything. Our, you know, Christmas, our anniversary, and Valentine's are all like right after one another. So we, you know, we buy at Christmas, but we don't normally. You know, we usually will go out for dinner or something for our anniversary. Um, and that's usually about it. Yeah, it's very nice. And he got me the labels, so I need to get that set up and try it. I had debated about whether or not I wanted to actually get one. Because I couldn't really, you know, I don't sell that. I mean, I sell a little bit, but not that much. But it was just using so much of my ink out of my printer every time I had to print one. Seemed like every time I turned around, we were having to replace the ink. And we don't really use it for a lot of color, so... Mostly I was just using it for my shipping labels and my shipping instructions that I put in my boxes. But yes, it is very nice. He surprised me. I didn't realize that he could see my Amazon account. My ribbon isn't cut correctly here. Yeah, it's going to save a ton, especially not having to buy the ink. Because, you know, I think the last time I had to go, my the ink for mine, you have to buy it. It's one of those that you have to have not only the black, but you have to have all the colors too. So it comes with like the black, the magenta, the cayenne whatever they you know they're all those weird colored names but um I think it, the last time I bought one it was just like fifty dollars and they don't last very long at all he has everything saved I'm sure he does I had just put this in there so he he has he somehow is still linked to it. I think at Christmas time when I sent him my wish list. Now every time I add something to it, he said he gets an email. So him and Amazon are in cahoots. All right, so I'm putting this in with the ruffles. So yeah, I was surprised. It is personally yours is where I got the sign. I love her signs. And it says, have a sweet day. Love the signs. I have a whole stack of signs over here from her. Hi, Christina. Just looking to make sure I didn't miss any comments. Ruffle, yep, ruffle. Snagging. Oh, 
So if you haven't liked my page yet, I would really appreciate it if you would do that. I'm trying to get to 500 likes. I'm at, well, when I started my live tonight, I was at 385. So it's going up every week. And I appreciate those that have shared for me as well. Oh, well, I'm glad you guys get to watch. Oh, he has to go to bed tonight early. It's the weekend, Mom. Why? You're supposed to be able to stay up later on the weekends. Oh, do you have the same one, Renee? Things getting higher and higher. Me too. But you get, you get to stay up late on the weekends, so you can sleep in. I say that I'm going to sleep in, and then I'll probably be up early anyway. Usually I am. <clears throat> Whatever happened to those days when we could sleep until, like, noon? Anybody ever do that? Not me, nope. He is staying up later. He gets cranky. Well, pff, pooey on him. I know, don't you, Jonathan? I wish I could do that, too. Nope. I used to stay up all night, too, and then sleep most of the day away. Not anymore. Exactly, yeah. We're not teenagers anymore, are we, Jerry? No. And I'll have to go back and read adjust these ribbons anyway because I'm smashing them on the other side over there as I spin it around but I don't know why I keep putting my glasses back up I don't need them yeah up early usually week on the weekends sometimes it'd be 8 maybe 8 30 but during the week I don't know why it's just usually about 7 7 30 Usually right after my husband leaves is when I wake up. It takes forever to fall asleep, though. That's the only bad thing. I go to bed about 11, but it's not until after 1 o'clock by the time I actually go to sleep. It's like you can sit there in the chair or in the couch or whatever and fall asleep or nod off. But the minute you get up and go to bed, wide awake. And it takes forever to get to sleep. And then once you do, you feel like you just fell asleep and it's time to get up. <clears throat> 
Cindy, have I have I put any in the wrong place tonight? Usually when I get to my ribbons, I end up putting something somewhere it doesn't belong. Do you guys do any lives on the weekend? I've never done any, I don't think, I can't think of any I've done on the weekends. This is as close to the weekend as I've gotten. Yeah, it looks like I got them all in the right place tonight, too. Tonight it was just that one mesh that I put in the wrong place. <laughs> or the ruffle. Alright, so this is the last ribbon. And I will show you all the wreath again. Give you a quick recap of what I've done. You doing one tomorrow night? Your third? Awesome. What time? All right, there we go. There's our, let me turn it that way. So I started with a base of 10 inch poofs. Um, I did um, some 20 inch ruffles in every other tie. Then I did um, the black and yellow bundles in the other ties. And then I put my ribbons on. So I've got two ribbons in, in each tie and I alternated the patterns. You haven't done your first one, Susan? All right, so, well, you need to let us know when you do it so we can come and watch. We'll talk to you so that hopefully you won't be nervous. About 7 Eastern? Okay, I'll keep an eye out for it. What are you scared of? Tell me what scares you about doing live. You know, this is only, I think this is probably my 10th. So I haven't been doing them all that long. But tell me what scares you. I'll tell you what scares me about doing it. I just don't like being on camera. <laughs> I don't have a problem with the talking or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. I just don't like being on the camera. I don't like, no, oh, I'd rather be sitting with my hair in a ponytail and no makeup on and, but. Yeah, that's pretty much it. My grandson is the one that kept, he kept at me to do it. He's the reason I, I started doing them. Talking in circles? No. You won't. Yeah, that's the hardest part for me is the actually being on camera. And, you know, if you guys didn't have to see me and only saw the wreath, we'd be good. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to decide if I should go ahead and put my sign on. I don't know where I want to put it yet because I don't know if I'm going to use the little beehive or the bumblebees. So I don't know if he's going to go like here. I don't know if you guys can see it. What you need is you need somebody that you can talk to, Susan. So you can just focus on that one person and talk to them and th that will help you. At least it did for me. If my daughter and my grandson weren't there, I would have been, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. If they're not there, then I can't. I just, I gotta have somebody that I can talk to. Cause if no one else is talking, I can talk to them. I'll go back and like your page, Renee, if I haven't already.
Yeah, it takes, it's taken a while to get the followers and, you know, that. I have people on my page, like I said, I have 385. It's just getting them, you know, getting people to watch the lives. That's, I haven't found the right, um, I don't know, day or, you know, I don't know if it's the timing or what it is, but yeah. I'd like to, to at least build my audience up that way a little bit. But anyway, all right, so I don't know if I want to do it in the middle. I don't think it's going to go in the middle. I think it's going to go off to the side. But that's what you need. That's uh, uh, Try it. And you know, you can do practice lives too. I'll go and like yours too, Susan, if I haven't already. I do not have a biz buddy. Are you guys in the groups too? I think the names look familiar. I'm th I think you are. Yeah, I've only been in the group um, a little over a month. All right, so I'm gonna put this off here to the side. And I'm just going to put my tie... Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, if you don't have anybody else to talk to, let me know and I will go and I will sit and talk to you while you do your live. But you can do a practice live. Make a, a private group for yourself. And then just go in there and practice. And then you can go back and rewatch it and see. I'm in Lori's group. Yeah, I just, I signed up for Lori's group at the beginning of the year. I'm looking for a good place to put this through without, didn't want to have to poke through the mesh, but I might have to. I don't know if it'll go through it though. Hmm. Yeah, put your names up there and I'll go back and I'll um, check and see if I've liked them already. Hey Deb, how are you? Yeah, Lori's great. I'm really liking the group. Still trying to get through some of the training, but... She's got a lot of information. Yeah, I started um, the first of the year, so. I, and I've already learned a lot just by doing her training that she has. Of course, I don't know. I haven't gotten that the bot thing to work, so. I don't know. Give it a try again if you guys haven't already. Um, type in the word live. And see if you get a message from you. It, it only it'll only send you a message if you don't get the the thing already. All right, so that one's secured. Um, Lori Jacobs from Hardworking Mom. Um, she has a couple of groups. She has a business group and a design group. And you can follow her page as well. She has a, her own page too called Hardworking Mom. She does, um, can't get this to go around the frame. Sorry, it's taken me a while to get this on here. I have to lift it up. I'm trying to get it to go around the bars and the bars are covered up so I can't um, get it on there. But yeah, I, um, the bot is the only training. I, I keep going over it and over it and over it. And every time I try to set it up, I go back and I play her training video while I'm doing it. And it still doesn't work for me. So I don't know what the heck is going on. All right, let's go this way. And I don't want to pull my ties too tight because I don't want this sign to smash everything. 
I just want it to sit on top of my mesh and my ribbon. So I'm going to pull my ribbons out so you can still see them. Because you don't want to hide any of that pretty, pretty ribbon. Yeah, they have the Soul Sisters. She's one of the Soul Sisters. I, um, I'm in their, I think their public group. I, don't, I think they have a public one or a private one. I'm not sure. But yeah, I, um, I'm not in their other one. Oh, well, let's see. We'll just go this way with it. Making sure it's not smashing anything down. Yeah, there, there's a group of women that are um, the Soul Sisters. I know um, a lot of them I followed before I joined the group. That was one of the reasons I joined the group was because a lot of the people I had been following and watching um, were all a part of her group. And that's what helped me decide um, to go with hers. And she's a CPA. She's um, run several companies. So um, this form is a 15 inch work form. Oh, thank you, Deb. I hope, were they groups or people? If they're groups, be careful. Some groups don't like you sharing lives. I found that out the hard way. Well, I didn't find out the hard way. Somebody shared my live and it caused some problems apparently. Yeah, I watched Katie and um, Laura Jean. I watch her. And, um, of course, Lori. And, um, oh, who else is there? There's so many of them. My ribbon got stuck up underneath. Okay, people, good. They're, they're a little more forgiving. <laughs> if they don't want to see it, they just ignore it. Yeah, someone shared one time to a bunch of groups, and apparently the groups, some people in the group were not happy for whatever reason that my live was shared, so we have to be careful. Don't want to upset anybody. All right, so there's our sign. And I think I have this one corner down too tight. I might have to go back and readjust. Sorry about the glare. Do you know how to share the link? You can put the link in if you want. I don't mind. This corner right here is too tight. I gotta undo this, it's bugging me. I don't like how it's pulling down. Yeah, Lori Jacobs is the one. Um, she has the group. She's a hardworking mom is her, um, her Facebook page. All right, so I'll go back and I'll fluff all these ribbons out. And this wreath will be up on my shop tomorrow after I take pictures of it. Sometimes it doesn't get done till the end of the day. It just depends on how well I can get those pictures done and hopefully the weather will be nice. At least not be cloudy. Cause I take my pictures outside on the door. Yeah, if you type it in there, I'll go um, afterwards and I'll like them too. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm going to add this tubing. Let me see how this yellow is going to look. And this will go pretty quick, guys. Thank you, Mom. Well, that's a good kind of prejudice, I guess, huh? Can't get in trouble for that. Alright, so I just take my tubing, which is cut at 24 inches. I cut it the length of my mat. I fold it in half, fold it in half again, twist it in the center, and then I put it in the tie. Thank you, Mom. Isn't it cute? And it's so full. This thing is probably... It's like six inches. I guess I need to turn the ruler the right way. This thing's almost seven, almost eight inches tall. Thank you, Susan. Oh, I know Three Princess Home Decor. I watch them. I mean, I don't know them, but I, I watch them. Yeah, it's yeah, it's AC, I think, Renee. It's AC. Hi, Miss T. How are you? Thank you very much. Yeah, it has to be a poofy wreath. That's what I would want. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it so much. I'm glad you could come and watch too. I was talking about your dog wreath earlier. I was going to do one and then I changed my mind and did a bee wreath instead. Well, I'm glad you guys joined me as well. I really do appreciate it too. Thank you. Did you see hers, Susan? Yeah. She's new to the group, too. She joined around the same time I did, I believe. Didn't you? Hi, Pat. How are you? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it'll be posted so you can watch the replay. And 
And then once um, once they're posted to Facebook, um, within a few days I'll have it posted to YouTube as well. So if you have a YouTube channel, or if you guys watch YouTube, I have a YouTube channel. And it's under the same name, Reef Decor by Dawn. And I would love it if you would subscribe to that if you're on YouTube. I don't have very many followers on that one, but... You have to have a hundred before you can even get your page seen, so I gotta get that hundred first. My tubing is cut, uh, this is 24 inches. Um, I cut it the length of my mat. It should probably be a little bit longer, but it works for me right now. Which one, Susan? YouTube? Yeah, my YouTube channel is the same as my um, Facebook page name. It's Reef Decor by Dawn. One of these days I'll have um, all my links put up so that people can see them once I figure that out. Obviously I can't get my bot to work, so. <laughs> but then I don't think I'm the only one with that problem. I know a lot of people complain about that messenger bot supposed to make things easier but all it does is make it more frustrating Let's see, a couple more to go. I guess this yellow works okay. Can't really see it, but I know that gold is that gold color would have just stood out way too much, so I'm glad I went with this one. Those were the only two colors I had, so now if I've been doing like the burlap with that black and yellow dark check um, mesh. That gold probably would have worked with that, but I don't have any of that, so. So what kind of wreaths are y'all working on next? show you all that sign I was talking about earlier that was giving me problems. Floral arrangements. I gotta learn how to do florals. You do such pretty work, Jonathan. I've seen your centerpieces, Matt. All right, that's the bottom. So let me get the top and we'll be done with that. Farmhouse, yeah, I have a farmhouse one I wanna do too. My daughter made a sign for me and I'm gonna use that. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm not very confident with um, florals. I need to get more confident with what you know with using them. And um, florals and bows. I never like my bows. Oh yeah, wedding season. Is it wedding season already? I guess so, huh? Valentine's Day people get getting married on Valentine's Day. Oh, that's cute. This is the sign my daughter made for me. I'm gonna use that one. It's a you know, one of them like wooden paddles. I'm gonna use that for a farmhouse wreath. I already have the ribbons and everything for it. Yeah, I gotta get. Um, I gotta learn to do florals. have a bunny um, form that I bought it's like um, it's not grapevine but it's um, oh, I don't know what it's called it looks like grapevine but it's not um, and I wanted to do florals on it but I'm very hesitant to do it well I'm scared to do it actually because I don't want it to look like crap I guess I just have to do it, and it's the only way I'm gonna figure it out, right? He does really good, I mean, you guys, you have to see his work. Check out his page. He has some really neat stuff. Did you? Yeah, that would probably help if I did that, but I won't. <laughs> I already know I won't. All right, I've got two more here. Well, maybe I can get one in there. I'm not gonna be able to get the one under the sign, which is good. Yeah, Kali's group, yeah. I've heard about her group. I've seen some of her um, lives. I don't, I don't, I haven't caught very many. Yeah, I've never yeah, I don't I didn't think she did. I've never seen her do it. Um I first saw her or heard about her when she was um she was at Damon's. If you watch Damon Oates, um she was at his place and I saw her on a live there. That's where I first learned about her. Oh, that ribbon just must have snagged. I'm gonna have to cut that off. Sorry, this ribbon's gotta be cut. Oh, 
Really? Huh. No, I'm not going to Wreath Makers Live. I wish I was. I would love to go. I'd like to go to that or go to Scott's um, thing in his conventions in Illinois, Indiana. I don't know. Do, you, does any, do any of you follow Scott? Design with Scott? But no, I'm not going. I'd like to, but no, not going to happen. Not this year, anyway. It's really expensive to go. And not just the tickets to the event, but then you've got to buy the hotel, and then you got to get there, and it's in Louisiana, so... Although I'd love to go to New Orleans. I've been there once. I don't know that I would go to something like that by myself anyway. I, I would love to. I'd love to go just for the, you know, to for the um, um, interacting with everybody, you know, the, the business and the, um, what do you call it? I can't think of the word now. Networking. I think that's the word I wanted, networking. I would love to do that, and a lot of the people I follow I know are going, so that would be something, but no. All right. You're going, Renee? Well, you can tell us all about it. I watched, <clears throat> excuse me, I watched a lot of it um, through people's lives last year, and it looked like they all, I mean, it looked like an awesome event. But yeah, it's not something I think I'm ready for yet. Expense wise and all right, so let's see. Do I want to add these or not? <clears throat> While I'm thinking about it, I'll show you that sign I was talking about. The sign is driving me crazy. This is a sign I have to put in a wreath. Let me go this way. And it's got the, the, the natural color board on the back. And all these flowers, mostly it's all green. And I don't know why this is just giving me fit. I'm trying to do that wreath. That's the sign she wants. And like I said, I did a, a burlap, well not a bur burlap, but a, um, a natural polyjute base and I didn't like that and I think it's because I don't have the right colors to go in that or what I think are the right colors I don't know what it is but it's driving me crazy all right so we got little bumblebee here and they're supposed to do these in threes But we'll see. Let's see how this looks first. Yeah, it, well, yeah, I, I don't, I have dark purple. I tried to do um, an aqua color, and I did think about a grapevine. I have to ask her if she would like a grapevine. I thought about that, because I do have some florals I could use, but then again, there we are with the florals. Using florals. You know what? I think. What if I did two big ones and one little one? Let me put it on here and I'll ask. You guys can look at it and tell me what you think. These are metal, so I don't have to worry about them breaking. Is that too much? I'm just setting them on there for a second. Can y'all see it? I'm waiting for my iPad to catch up. Can you see the bees? What do you think? 
Yeah, the two big ones and one little one. There's a big one here and a big one here and then the little one there. Yeah? Don't you? Those are so cute. They're little heart wings. These ones have heart wings. This one's just regular. You like the bigger? Yeah, I only have, let me see. Oh, well, there goes all my stuff. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put them in there. All right, let's see how I'm gonna attach this. Because this one doesn't have anything on the bottom, so I'd have to drill a hole in it, and the drill's downstairs. So I gave it back to my husband. But this one has a little loop on it to secure it. So you know, I might have to do that later. But that's where I would put them. I'm going to put them like that. Let me fix this. The little antennas need to be sticking up. No, I don't have a bow. I, I don't, I'm not very good with bows. <laughs> so I'm hesitant to make them. At least I don't think I'm very good. I have the um, the Easy Bow Maker. Or not Easy Bow Maker. I have that too. But I have the Bow Dabra. Not Bow Dabra. What am I thinking? What is the bow thing called? Thank you. It's a bow maker. Yeah, but I'm trying to think. It's a bow. The big one. The big bow maker. I have that. Pro bow. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. You're going to bed? You're going to bed? Good night, Dad. That's my husband. Have fun. Thank you. Cindy said hi. Hi, hon. He said hi. Deb said hi. He says hi. Everybody's saying hi now. <laughs> Everyone. He's going to bed, so usually he goes to bed and doesn't doesn't say good night, so I don't like that. So now he come up here to tell me good night, but he brought me the drill because <laughs> he heard me talking about it. Thank you, babe. I gave it back to him because I didn't think I'd need it because I bought a thing to punch holes in my signs, but I didn't think about anything else. Yeah, gorilla glue would work too, but I would I worry about it. I would I I'll st I could still put some on there, but I want to tie it too just to make sure. I don't want it you know in case that glue were to fail because if you know if somebody had this up in the summertime, and they're in Texas or California as hot as it gets, who knows? All right, so I'm just looking where I'm gonna put a hole in them. But anyway, I can do that. I don't have to do that now. I can do that after I get done. But that's where I'm going to put them. So there we go, guys. This is the bee wreath, and it will be on my shop tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to mix them both. I'm going I'm to put the, just like this, the two big ones and the little one. Yeah, I do use Gorilla Glue too, Jonathan. He's already gone downstairs, Mom. I'll tell him that you said that, though. Thank you, Sherry. Y'all have any questions for me before we go? And I'll put these, attach these on there, and then I'll post a picture tomorrow. But that's how it's going to look. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, it is. 
I don't know. Somebody better snag it up. I might put it on my own door. All these things are poking underneath. I need to fix that so I don't want somebody to get poked by that. I don't like the way they did this work for them. So that's it for tonight, guys. I so appreciate you coming and hanging out with me tonight. And thank you for sharing and liking my page. And keeping me company. I'm so glad you guys could make it. And I will go back and um, read through all the comments. And um, I will go and like you guys, your pages that you put on there. Thank you, Renee. It was good seeing you, too. Thanks, David. Have a good night. Night, Sherry. Bye, guys. I will see you um, probably on Wednesday. Have a good weekend.